the Grammys sucked this year. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my top six reasons why. Aaron Giese here, bringing you the Giese Town Perspective. I'm a voting member of the Recording Academy, which means I vote on the Grammys, I'm involved with all that, I've been to the Grammys a few times, but this year sucked. And if that's not just my opinion, the Grammys got the worst ratings that they've had in the last decade this year, alright? And so I'm just going to give you six reasons why I think that is, and you know, number one, is I think it was just a slow year for music in general, all right? There was not really any big pop album. I mean, there's Bruno Mars, and that, that was pretty much it for big pop albums, all right? There wasn't any major, like, breakthrough artists that just changed everything. Like, I can, you know, an example I can remember, you know, the last few years, Skrillex was an artist that just broke through and changed everything. Every, everyone was doing dubstep. Everyone was all into that. That changed everything. Adele, you know, when she came out with her album 21, that was huge. That changed everything. All right. Nothing like that happened this year, really. I mean, sorry. <laughs> it just didn't. It was a slow year in music. And you can say what you want about Jay-Z and Kendrick Lamar and hip-hop and all that. And I know they had some big albums out this year. But honestly, I just see those as very, you know, niche, genre-specific. There's only a small audience that's going to really be into that stuff. And that's fine. You know, I respect that and everything. But, I mean, you just can't expect everyone to get into that. Especially when it's, you know, it's not family-friendly. I mean, you're cutting off a huge audience just because of that. So, that's that, you know, first reason, slow year in music. Um, second reason, I think one of the biggest complaints I've heard about the Grammys, like, forever, has just been that, oh, it's, it's just the pop artists that win. And in reality, there's something like 70 categories in the Grammys, all right? There's a Grammy for the best liner notes, all right? There's Grammys for everything, all kinds of genres of music, you know, jazz and hip hop and Latin and dance and, and new age music and world music. And there's just, you know, you go on and on. There's a blue, best blues album, there's rock, metal, I mean, on and on and on. There's all these genres, all these different things. And what do we see in the three hours? Just a handful of them. And, you know, honestly, I think they should just do a better job of incorporating some of those lesser known genres onto the part that we see on TV. Because the Grammys actually started about noon and it goes all day and they have, you know, all these awards, you know, given out. It's just only a small chunk of it that's actually broadcast on TV that most people see. So I just think they need to do a better job of showcasing some of those lesser known genres. Even if they can't fit them all in that three hours, maybe just, you know, grab a few lesser known genres every year and just showcase those. And I think that would spice things up and, and, uh, and help out the, the little guy, so to speak, and just make the show more interesting too. So anyway, so there's reason number two. Reason number three is honestly, I don't think they really did anything that memorable. All right. There's a lot of, you know, a quote from a guy that I like is, so there's no such thing as a good band. There's great bands and there's forgettable bands. And I think this year it was just a lot of forgettable performances. And I mean, there, are, there's a few that kind of stood out, but I was talking to a friend of mine on the phone and asked him, Oh, what do you think about the Grammys? And the thing he told me that stood out to him was politics. And that brings me to number reason number four, why I think the Grammy sucked this year, politics. Okay, what is this? Is this music's biggest night or is this a political rally? Because I'm not sure, you know, it seems like, like, honestly, I think, I mean, why don't I just say it? I think in general, people are just sick of politics being everywhere in everything. You can't do anything without having people preach politics to you. And I think people are just sick of it and they're turning stuff off and it's it's one it's a one-sided message that's always being preached all right if you're going to preach politics at least you know have two sides to the coin and make light of it and not you know just one side preaching 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 at you just make it into just kind of a joke and yeah we have different people in the country that have different opinions and whatever and have both of them represented I mean, that's what I'd like to see if there's going to be any kind of politics at all. But honestly, I think we just need to get back to music 
and not like involving all this other crap. So that's just me. But um, anyway, so there's Cerise in number three and four. Number five, okay, Despacito, all right, huge song, but just it was featuring Justin Bieber. Okay, they do the song in the Grammys, where's Justin Bieber? Like, what's up with that? Okay, <laughs> so that's all I got for reason number five is just, I don't get it, why he wasn't there. Because I, honestly, I think that song became huge because of Justin Bieber. Otherwise, it's just like a Spanish song that no one understands the words of and all right i heard it and i was you know when i first heard it i was just like what in the world is this why is this song so popular like i didn't you know really think it was that big of a deal or anything but you know i guess some people did and it was on the grammys but without the person that in my opinion is what made it famous so anyway there's that and the last reason Number six, okay, this is the 60th Grammys. This is a milestone, all right? And they just didn't do anything to emphasize that. They didn't show any kind of, like, history of the Grammys or, you know, stuff like get someone from, like, the first Grammys if they're still alive to talk about it. Or, I mean, they didn't really even mention it or make a big deal about it or anything, you know? It was just kind of like another Grammys. So, anyway, that's why I think it sucked and why the ratings are so bad, and um, hopefully it'll be better next year. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and if you're watching my channel for the first time, um, check out my music video for my song, Miracle. I put a lot of hard work into making that, and I think you'll enjoy that. Other than that, I'll see you next time.